Hi class, in this video I'll walk through the instructions to create your own repository for the class and then share it with me uh, so that I can download your code from your GitHub repository. Okay, so I'm just going to follow the instructions that were uploaded. So first we're going we're to head out to desktop.github.com and download uh, GitHub Desktop. And as soon as it downloads, you can just double click on it and then uh, drag it to the applications folder. So just a couple things here. Well, first of all, we can we can create a repository right in github.com. Uh, once you log on, this is kind of your dashboard or home screen for GitHub. And on the right hand side, you'll see all of your repositories. So you can see my private repositories, public repositories. Uh, if I click on new repository, then I can just create a repository right here. What's nice about this, uh, the desktop version of GitHub is that it interacts with your local machine. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a local repository, and then we're also going to have a remote repository that's stored on github.com. So as you're creating your project and saving it, you're also going to be instructing your local repository to make the changes. Uh, and then we're going to do that with, first of all, by adding the files with an add. Then we're going to commit the files. And committing is almost like saving. It's telling the repository that you want to keep those changes. Uh, and then we're going to push it. And that takes it from your local repository and uploads it to the github.com server. Okay, so once we've got uh, GitHub Desktop installed, go ahead and open that up. So once we, once we have GitHub Desktop installed, you can see that we can easily create a uh, repository here by clicking the Add button. Uh, and there's three options, Add, re Adds a Repository that is already created locally, Create, Creates a New Repository, and uh, we're going to add a local path. So it's going to create the repository just on our local machine. And then Clone is going to... Take a repository that exists on github.com and create that a repository folder on our local computer. Okay, so go ahead and click the add button and then create. And I'm going to enter a, a name of IT2100, and then my first initial and then last name. And choose a path. I recommend an easy path, and I sort of like the one that's there by default. So I'm going to leave it there, so it's my documents folder, and then the name of the repository, and then go ahead and click Create Repository. Now this has created the repository locally on our local machine. If we go out to Finder right now and see the files, you'll see that there's a directory, and it has nothing in it. Really, really just uh, a folder with GitHub settings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this repository and we're going to publish it to github.com. So here's the repository name. We want it to be the same as our local repository. And give it a description. Uh, please do make sure that it is private. So you want to leave this, keep this code private checked. Uh, and we'll Make sure we select our account, and then go ahead and click Publish Repository. So now it's taking the repository from our local machine and creating it on github.com. Now if we go out to our github.com account and refresh it, you should see that repository exists on github.com now. So there's my IT2100 J Leisure. So that's it. That's how we uh, create a repository. So now I've got a directory on our local machine, which uh, houses the it's going to house the projects, or all of our Xcode projects. And then once we add and commit files to this repository, then we can push it. And once we push it, it'll go up to our GitHub.com repository. Now. 
the next step is to share it with me as your instructor so that I can see it. So uh, from the home screen or from your from your GitHub dashboard here, click on I, on your repository for the class. And then go up to this plus sign up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, we're going to select new collaborator. And I'm going to be the collaborator. Uh, you may have to enter your github.com password again. And then from here, you're going to type in my email address, and you'll you'll see that I'm a member. Uh, so I'm going to click that. That's not going to let me add myself as a collaborator. It'll say that I'm the owner of the repository. But when you find my email address or username, and then click Add Collabor Collaborator, it'll add me. Uh, give me full permissions there, and then I can uh, I can pull down all of your course files as you publish them. So, th so that's how we create the repository. Uh, from GitHub Desktop, and it's how we how you sh are going to share it with me. So that's the first step. Look forward to the next video. In the next video, I'll create an Xcode project, and then uh, push that up to the repository in GitHub. Thanks.